Hello and welcome to the latest episode of the FQ Show. On this episode, we'll be previewing uh, both NPL Women's and FQPL One Women's Grand Finals uh, ahead of this weekend's clashes at Perry Park. Uh, I caught up with all of the grand finalists uh, today, uh, Lions FC, Gold Coast United, Peninsula Power and Mitchelton FC. So had a great chat to, with them on how they're preparing for the weekend. Uh, we'll go and chat with the Lions and Gold Coast girls now. Well, here we are ahead of the NPL Women's Grand Final. I'm joined here today by Zoe Corbett from Gold Coast United and Tegan Thompson from Lions FC. Girls, how are we today? Yeah, great. <laughs> Good to be here. <laughs> That's the way. Uh, looking forward to uh, what will surely be a, a belt of a grand final between uh, between uh, you two. Uh, how are the nerves? Are you feeling, feeling all right? Oh, I'm nervous. <laughs> yeah, I think finals um, always bring out the nerves, but I think it's obviously a good feeling too. Um, we love playing against each other, that's for <laughs> sure, so I think it will be a good one. Yeah, nice one. Uh, Tegan, we'll just get started with you, uh, just talk a bit about uh, yourself and your, your footballing journey. Uh, you've been in the NPL for a number of years and um, joined Lions uh, just last year into, yeah. uh, into, into <laughs> the winning team there. there. Um, uh, and also spent a few, a few years at Kapala Bar FC. Uh, how, how's your football journey been? Yeah, no, it's been awesome. So yeah, as you mentioned, I started at Kapala Bar. Um, last year was my first season at Lions. It was quite a successful one and it was awesome to be a part of that. Um, and yeah, super stoked that I've been able to continue that this season as well. So. Yeah, it's been awesome and hopefully I'm also there next year too. <laughs> yeah, nice. Mm. Uh, you're a very a popular presence within, the, <laughs> within that Lions team. Uh, what's it like uh, playing for Lions? What do you enjoy most about playing for Lions? Um, it's honestly just such an amazing culture there. The people there, you know, on and off the pitch, it's, you know, good to be around. Uh, also professional um, surrounding as well, so everyone's treated really well there and you know, you're surrounded by quality players that bring out the best in you as well. So yeah, overall, it's just a, a great club to be a part of. Yeah, nice. And uh, Zoe, you've also uh, been around the, the NPL for a number of years, playing in a, starting in 2019. Mm -hmm. uh, what's it been like at, at GCU and, uh, and, and playing there? Yeah, I really loved GCU. Like the first year that I came in, everyone was super welcoming. Um, the girls were awesome. Um, had a few mutual friends with Dee, because she actually grew up down in Mullum when I lived in Byron. So it was, it was like a really good transition and, and not as daunting as I thought it would be. Like everyone was just super welcoming, open arms and just um, made that transition from like the league I was playing at to uh, coming into MPL that much easier just because everyone was, yeah, so nice. and. and yeah. And, and understanding that obviously I was just playing like club stuff, but yeah, yeah. yeah so it made it that, that step up nice and easy. How, how did you enjoy the, the, the step from just the local leagues into, into an NPL competition? Yeah, no, it was really good. It was good to sort of challenge myself and um, having all the players around you, they're just like so supportive and it really yeah, pushes you to be a better player and, and like have opportunities come from that as well. Yeah, nice. So yeah, it was really good. Yeah, good. Uh, so, Tegan, uh, a remarkable year for, for Lions and uh, the treble still on the cards, uh, the second treble still on the cards. Uh, yeah, fantastic season and keeping that uh, unbeaten streak alive. Uh, what was it like to, to be a part of that? Oh, it's been amazing. Like, you know, as you said, doing it uh, last year, being able to get the treble was awesome and that's obviously been our goal this season as well. So. Um, yeah, we continue to work hard and, you know, our main thing is not being complacent and um, I suppose, you know, we've managed to do that so far, so hopefully we can continue that um, heading into the weekend. Yeah, uh, you won the uh, Kappa Women's Super Cup uh, just at the start of this, uh, this month. Uh, it was good to get, uh, I suppose, a second <laughs> bit of silverware into, into the cabinet and retain that trophy. What was that like? Yeah, definitely. Um, something awesome to be a part of and, you know, the girls got the job done and we played well, put on a good performance. So, yeah. Definitely good to be a part of and grab another trophy, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, a successful season for yourself as well. Uh, I think your highest uh, goal scoring tally <laughs> to date, I reckon. Yeah. Uh, ten, 10 goals, including six, uh, yeah. six in a game. Uh, do you want to just walk us through? Uh, yeah. <laughs> you're going to be more of an attacking license? Or? Yeah, look, obviously, um, you know, squads have injuries and the, you know, starting lineup can change 
from week to week and unfortunately we did have you know a few injuries and especially with them um, being Beck who's been out for most of the season um, unfortunately she had you know a cracker of a start and then it wasn't too long after that she had a fracture in her foot yeah. so unfortunately yeah she hasn't been able to um, be there as much as we would have hoped. So um, we've had Beck out and then we also had Amy Gunston who also had an injury as well, but you mm. know, she's managed to come back. But within that time we needed to, you know, do some movement and um, Rob, you know, thought to put me up front, which is <laughs> interesting for me, but um, yeah, no, I had lots of fun up there and I still managed to make a few appearances on the wing there, but um, yeah, it's it's great fun. Like, Are you, are you easy in the out? Play me up front, play me up front. Yeah, I know. I understand why people want to play up front now. That's great. <laughs> and so, yeah, a strong year for, for Gold Coast United and uh, I suppose the leader of the, the trailing pack to, to, to Lions. Um, but, yeah, it's still a yeah, very tight season for, for everyone else involved. Uh, Only trailing by a little bit. Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> how, how was that to, um, to, to come through sort of from, from the rest of the pack there? Yeah, um, to be honest, like at the start of the season, we were a little bit concerned because um, we had a few games there that were nil all draws because we had such a strong uh, back line and then we um, had a few new people come in and, and um, make up the forward and midfield. So it was sort of like a little bit of time to kind of gel together and um, yeah, that probably put us a little bit behind you guys <laughs> towards the end but um, no it's been it's been really good like I think we really surprised ourselves in how quick we did all gel together like as I was saying before like Gold Coast is just really good for that um, sort of social side to make it like a bit better environment actually on the field as well so um, yeah credit to us for that and yeah I think we were just sort of looking at the um, the ladder kind of surprised where we were by yeah. the end of it because um, we had a few uh, rained out games so then obviously like we were sort of sitting behind and then you know after we played all those then all of a sudden we were just yeah. second <laughs> and we were like sick <laughs> so yeah it was it was really good and kudos to all the girls because um, there was a few times where we had to play you know three games in a week and no one, well, we complained a little bit, but like <laughs> everyone just came out and really did yeah. their best. So yeah. um, that was really awesome that we could do that still. Yeah, so, so in 2020, you won the premiership, but then got knocked out in the, yeah. got knocked out in the, <laughs> in the semis. <laughs> yeah. And then even in some of the, the Capital Women's Super Cup games, uh, the, those knockout yeah. games. So Yeah, we, we do well when yeah. we need to. But <laughs> no, nah, it's going to be really good to just... Yeah, and in the in a grand final, finally after all these years, and um, yeah, I'm excited. Yeah, uh, Tegan, we'll talk a little bit more about uh, your team this season. Uh, had some <laughs> great players across the park, obviously, but the the additions of someone like uh, Ish Nori coming into the midfield and playing alongside Mario Hecker, and then uh, some some guns in Amy Gunston and Tegan Riding firing, and then some young ones coming through. What's what's that been like for uh, yeah for all those team members? Yeah, it's it's an awesome experience um, playing alongside, you know, players who do play at a higher level. Um, obviously, E, she's the captain of the Raw, so she brings some of that leadership into the team as well. Um, Brazzy, she's just uh, another breed. <laughs> she's unreal. So it's awesome playing alongside her as well. Um, and uh, yeah, the young ones coming through, um, Zara and Maddie, yeah. you know, they've got great potential and just even, you know, playing alongside them this season, I've seen so much growth between the two and I know that they're only going to continue that. So yeah, it's a unreal um, squad and it's yeah really something special to be a part of and yeah, I enjoy playing with them week in, week out. So. Yeah. Yeah, it's awesome. Yeah, and obviously playing under Rob Askew as well, uh, a highly decorated coach uh, across the NPL women's space. Uh, what's that like? What does he bring to, to the squad? Yeah, Rob, he, he's good. He's, uh, <laughs> <laughs> he's got a few jokes up his sleeve, um, you know, but he's also serious when he needs yeah. to be and, you know, puts us in our place whenever we need to turn it on and um, get the job done but yeah he's he's a good character and um, yeah awesome to be around as well yeah and Zoe not to take anything away from the Gold Coast United team but you've equally got some 
fantastic players uh, who have been around for ages. Um, and like Momo Hayashi coming back from injury this season, a huge plus for you. Jesse Rashad at the back, just solidifying that. And some new, a new player in Bronte Rose coming through. Young Ling of uh, Charlie Farmer as well. Uh, what's it like to watch the, those uh, young ones develop and, and have those good players still perform? Yeah. Yeah, all credit to Momo for coming back um, from her injury. She, like, just didn't miss a day. Like, any time we had training, she was out there doing a rehab. Like, she was probably doing it an hour before we even got there. Like, it's just so nice to see her so dedicated to getting yeah. back because obviously yeah. it was a big blow for us and we did miss her a lot. And, but yeah, kudos to her for, for doing that because, yeah, she's an absolute weapon <laughs> and it's so good to have her back on the park. Mm. And then um, having Bronte come over, like, because obviously I've only ever versed her. Yeah. And then her just stepping into a striker role like, because she normally yeah. had centre defender and we're just like, oh, yeah. You just, <laughs> Too many of those. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> just go forward. And, um, yeah, she just took it in her stride and, and even against the East, like, mm. just showed that she's yeah. just very composed, like, such a good player and just chill as, which is nice to have on your team because a lot of the time, like, I can get a, a little bit hectic and, like, <laughs> there's a few people that, you know, like, freak out a little. So having someone that's really composed like that is really awesome and then um Dee and Ellie who have been there forever um they're just like the backbone of the team pretty mm. much like Ellie's insane um Dee's insane as I said like she had a yeah. wedding and just came out and <laughs> the firing for the semi-final like it was nothing so um yeah and then like um Charlie Farmer coming up and and even China in the midfield like we've got a very young midfield and um Momo's good because she t obviously took them under a wing kind of thing and, and awesome. helped yeah. them out a bit. But yeah, having that young midfield and like just giving them that opportunity to sort of grow into it is, yeah, it's really awesome. And they're doing great. Like, yeah. you, you can't fault them at yeah. all. So, yeah. And uh, you obviously had a, a new coach this year in Sarah Evans, uh, yeah. her first, first year coaching and she's yeah. taking into finals, uh, yeah. a fantastic achievement for her. Yeah. Um, obviously Alex Bungalow as well behind the scenes, which is great to see. What's, uh, what's it like having Sarah as a uh, coach there? Yeah, I think it was really good. Like obviously we love Alex and he was a, he, you know, he was great. Um, it is good, I think, to have that female sort of presence as well, because yeah. you can sort of she sort of has that understanding of how to coach women, I guess. Not that Alex didn't, but like, <laughs> you know, it's, it's good to have that female sort of role model. And um, she brings a lot of uh, experience from like overseas and stuff too. And um, yeah, she's just got a different coaching style that um, a lot of us really enjoyed and we had fun. Um, we probably gave her a few heart palpitations at the start <laughs> of the year, as I was saying, the poor thing. But um, yeah, she just always believes in us, always has such encouraging words. Um, yeah, she's she's always there, like started training just like full life, you know, and yeah, I think she's done really well considering, you know, she's had that big step up and um, yeah, she just took it in her stride and... And yeah, here we are. Yeah, awesome. <laughs> well, uh, two of the biggest uh, uh, women's clubs in uh, the MPL uh, coming up against each other. Uh, yeah, it's going to be a cracker of a game. How, how are you feeling ahead of it? Pumped and pumped and ready? <laughs> yep, ready to go. <laughs> <laughs> I am really excited. It'll be good. Yeah. So Tegan, uh, obviously going for the second treble, uh, just one more game, and then you un you unlock that achievement. Uh, do you feel the pressure at all in in looking to defend that? Yeah, I do sense a bit of pressure, um, but I don't think that's a bad thing. I think it keeps us accountable and something to work forward uh, with. So, no, it's good. I think, um, as Zoe mentioned, there's a bit of nerves, a bit of pressure, um, but that's what finals is all about. So, looking forward to, yeah, looking forward to it. Yeah, nice. Uh, Zoe, do you feel like you can uh, possibly exploit that uh, uh, in lines, the, the added pressure for them to get the... Uh to, to unlock that treble? Yeah, well, I mean, I'm just going back to when we were 1-0 up 10 minutes <laughs> in and then we, we let it go. But, you know, like finals, I don't know, finals are uh, interesting and, and, you know, anything can sort of happen. So, yeah. I mean, I am excited. I always get nervous, but, you know, as, as Tegan said, like, it's so normal. I feel like everyone is. And, yeah. 
once you get there, like the atmosphere and and people in the crowd, like just sort of go ahead with it, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> well, hopefully we will have a bumper crowd down at Perry Park for the, the final of our grand finals yeah. uh, this weekend, and I'm sure it'll be a belt of a match. Uh, best of luck to both of you. Thank you very much for joining me today, and <laughs> all the best. Thanks, Thanks for having us. Thank <laughs> you. Cheers. Thank you. All right, well, ahead of the FQPL1 Women's Grand Final, I'm joined here today by Tish Woods from Peninsula Power and Ashley Watkins from uh, Mitchelton FC. Girls, how are we today? Good, yeah, good. Happy to be here. <laughs> That's all right. Uh, looking forward to uh, a grand final, and we'll, we'll cover that right at the end. But uh, Tish, we'll start with you. Tell us a bit about uh, about yourself and about your journey. You're just uh, quite a young, like really, just 17 and playing in... Uh, your first season of women's football, how's, how's that been? Yeah, it's been really good so far. Um, I played with the boys when I was younger, so kind of not really used <laughs> to playing with girls, very different, but uh, no, I've definitely enjoyed power and enjoyed playing with the women. Yeah, nice. Uh, so battle hardened by playing with the boys yeah, at such yeah. a young age and <laughs> just slotting easily into that, uh, that team yeah. there. Um, what were some of the things that uh, drew you down to uh, Peninsula Power? You were obviously at uh, Santa Coast Wanderers last yeah. year and, uh, and making the trek down to, to there to play with Alex Smith. So, yeah. Yeah, how's that? It's been really good. Um, basically, the thing that got me over the line was Alex, like, yep. you know, um, wanting some extra coaching and, like, look, he's, like, I've learnt so much from him and, and from the girls down there, so it's just been a, like, very valuable experience for me and... Yeah, and he's, for a lot of the girls that came down from the coast, but yeah. Yeah, nice. He's an incredibly knowledgeable guy, yeah. and a great bloke as well. <laughs> yeah, so yeah. makes a makes for creating a really uh, yeah. really good environment there. Sure, so yeah. yeah, good to hear. And uh, actually, you've uh, you've been around the, the women's football ranks for quite a while, and uh, uh, part of the NPL Women's uh, inaugural season in 2015 for Easts. Been in Mitchelton for a couple of years now. How's your football journey been? Yeah, it's been um, really good. Uh, I've been to a couple of clubs. I actually started at Peninsula. Oh, right. um, <laughs> I grew up there, so I played yeah. there about 13 years. It's always hard playing at a club that used to be home for a <laughs> while. Um, but no, yeah, I was at East for about four or five years. Um, really enjoyed it and then kind of got brought under the wing at Mitchelton. And they're such a big community club and I just love it down there. So. Yeah, so yeah. was that community aspect the, the thing that really drew you into to playing there? And, yeah, yeah, it's a community aspect, the culture, everyone gets around each other and I mean Tony the coach is awesome so. Yeah, yeah. Uh, fantastic, yeah. a common theme with uh, two, yeah. two, two great coaches there and uh, yeah. getting teams into, into great finals there so that's awesome. Uh, Tish, you, you girls had a brilliant season this year, 21 games undefeated, 18 wins, 3 draws. Uh, what was it like to uh, really just turn it around from yeah. uh, last season for Peninsula? Unreal. I don't think, uh, like, a lot of us didn't even believe we could do it at the start of the season. Like, we were pushing for promotion. That was our goal. But yeah. it got to halfway through the season, we were all stoked to, like, still be undefeated. <laughs> but, yeah, no, an awesome effort. And, like, obviously feels unreal to, yeah. to achieve. Yeah. Nice. And then uh, through to the grand final, thanks to a... Uh, uh, <laughs> Last minute <laughs> semi-final win against Virginia. Yeah. Uh, what were the emotions like, even just during that game? Like you probably felt you uh, could have had a few more chances. Yeah, there was, definitely. Uh, a shot that hit the bar, just underneath the bar, late in yeah. the game. That yeah. So how, how were the emotions there? I was so like very nervous. Everyone yeah. was like on their toes. Like oh, there was a lot of doubt. A yeah. lot of doubt. Virginia is like a tough side to play. So mm. it was you know very scary going into it and obviously even more scary at like the end of full time going into extra time it was yeah but Alex never had a doubt and I think yeah that extra little bit of courage everyone pulled through. It definitely helps out yeah. yeah. Wins a win. Actually <laughs> <laughs> uh, you guys finished second this year a uh, remarkable achievement and uh, earning that promotion spot as well. Uh, how, how was that for, for Mitchelton and, and the team this year? Yeah I mean it was really challenging um, we got hit pretty hard with the floods yeah, earlier absolutely. this year so yeah. we had a pretty interrupted pre-season um, so kind of I guess having a lot of away games in the first half of the season really played its toll on us, but um, we are lucky enough to find some fields, um, get start training, go down to their gym, um, and kind of come through with the second half and find some consistency and some form to really push us into that promotion spot. So, yeah, 
Yeah, I, I can just imagine it'd be such a difficult thing, like not having a proper training routine, not having a proper training ground, and yeah. uh, to be able to pull through really shows some good resilience from uh, from that squad. So definitely a, a characteristic you can bring into into a game as well. Yeah, definitely. Um, hope you get you over the line. Yeah, and I mean Penitra being our benchmark for the year, they were the underdogs, so yeah. you know we it'll be really exciting to play them coming up. Yeah, it should make for a cracking final. Uh, obviously, you got some good karma, though, in uh, getting the new signing of uh, Kelly Purifoy from uh, Central FC. Yeah. Uh, how, she's been remarkable. 39 goals in, like, 20 games or something. Like, <laughs> mind-blowing. <laughs> how is it defending her at training? <laughs> um, yeah, it's really tough defending her at training. She's always predictable, and no matter what angle she's on, she can just shoot from anywhere, and that's obviously paid off for us um, in the season. Yeah. Promotion for Peninsula Power uh, that means so much for the club. Um, how, how does it mean for, for you guys? You said that was uh, the aim for this season and, and, and we got there. So, yeah. yeah, how was that? Yeah, pretty exciting for everyone, I think, yeah. um, especially the girls that have been there for a while. Obviously, the club's uh, been through a lot. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, just the effort that everyone's put in, especially like the coaching staff and, you know, all the girls, I think it's a massive feat for, for everyone at the club. And, yeah. yeah, bring on NPL. Yeah. <laughs> We're looking forward to playing against that higher calibre of opposition week in, week out. Definitely, yeah. Yeah, definitely missed it because last year was NPL. But yep. yeah, we deserve to be there and so did Mitchie. So yeah, absolutely. looking forward to it. A uh, fun little start with uh, Peninsula Power as well. Um, your men's team and now your women's team are the only two FQPL teams to earn promotion from FQPL 1 into NPL, uh, both having undefeated seasons. So uh, it's a <laughs> pretty pretty fun one. Uh, <laughs> proud of that for, for the club. Yeah, following their footsteps. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, fantastic. And Ashley, obviously turning things around for Mitchelton. Um, uh, they've been uh, in the league since uh, 2017, I believe, uh, 2018 maybe. And um, yeah, to, to earn that promotion into, into the NPL after missing the cut last year. How does, a, how does that feel for the club? Um, yeah, it's really fantastic. Um, we've got a lot of young girls that have kind of come in and they've stepped up. So I think we definitely needed this year to kind of develop and find some consistency within the squad. And we've got great depth with our 23s that are also in the grand yeah. final. Um, and they've also come on and played quite a few minutes for us. So um, yes, I think it's going to be really good, really challenging for us, especially for those young ones. Yeah, that's awesome. Uh, the, the fact that your under 23s are there in the final as well, yeah. Uh, just, yeah, is awesome. Uh, your under 23 is also <laughs> it's a, yeah. the reverse fixture as well. Double so, header. <laughs> I'm showing great things for uh, the, the women's program at both your clubs. Uh, so obviously, yeah, it didn't quite survive the split last year, but um, there are a few other clubs, uh, Brisbane City and uh, Western Pride, who are also vying for those promotion spots. I suppose you were both up against uh, those clubs, and Virginia as well, you said, were a, a tough team that made it into the finals. How was uh, playing against those teams and in that competition? They really uh, <laughs> helped push you along and yeah. make you work for it? Definitely. Well, um, playing against them was like... A good challenge for us, obviously, like, you know, a bit more competition and obviously Mitchelton's a hard team to face, so it was good to have that extra push and extra, like, motivation to get better, I guess, but, yeah. Yeah, and uh, a win on the final day uh, against uh, Brisbane City sort of knocked them out of the finals. <laughs> Chances was a little sort of sweet feeling as well for you. <laughs> yeah, I mean, they've got some key players in their team and we're always a 50-50 against them. Um, it's a win or lose, so it was nice to come out and um, come out on top. In the season on a high, yeah. yeah. Uh, looking towards the, the final, uh, both obviously uh, excited and how are, the, how are the preparations going? Yeah, well, um, we're over the moon to be, you know, a part of the grand final. Obviously, was a little bit hesitant in the semi-finals, so yeah. everyone was a little bit shocked. But no, to make it to the grand final is awesome, and I think the girls are really ready for the match. So yeah, and actually, you're going to try and maybe pounce on that uh, the pressure that uh, that was sort of feeling in the semi-finals and. So yeah, use that to your advantage, you reckon? Yeah, yeah, we're really excited um, going in. Um, so we've been training hard and hopefully um, put you guys under a bit of pressure <laughs> and see how we go. I mean, you guys are undefeated, so um, yeah, it'll be challenging for us, but let's see how we go. Yeah, hopefully yeah. use that to your, your advantage and hopefully make for an absolute belt from a game. I'm really looking forward to, to both of them. So uh, kicking off at 5.30 on the, sorry, uh, yeah, 5 o'clock on, on the Saturday. So uh, yeah, hopefully, uh, it's a belter and I wish you both the best of luck. Awesome, thanks so Cheers. much. Cheers.
Well, thank you for joining us on this week's episode. Uh, it was fantastic to chat with the girls ahead of what will be a fantastic weekend at Perry Park. Uh, tickets will be on sale via our website and through our social media channels as well leading up to the match. It's a cashless event and definitely worth uh, purchasing your tickets uh, prior to arriving to the game as the prices will increase on match day and it will just be easy for you to get through the gate as well. Um, yeah, sure to be a ripper game and get down and make a great atmosphere for Perry Park. The under-23s are also playing in the matches beforehand, kicking off at 12 and 2.30 respectively um, for the big, uh, big matches at 5 and 7.30. So we'll see you there.